Hi everybody, this is Larry Christensen bringing to you uh, highlights from round four of the third and Rex Sinkfeld Cup being played right now in St. Louis, Missouri, the famous St. Louis Chess Club. <clears throat> and uh, my pick for game of the day was a excellent attacking game crush by, by Levon Aronian over his uh, young uh, Wesley So. Let's look t take a quick look at it. Maybe So may have made just two mistakes, but that'll cost you at this level. Nimzo Indian, F3 line. And Aronian elects to play the sharp, dynamic C5 line. Answered by D5. White has also can also choose A3 here, which leads to play similar to a same-ish Nimzo Indian. But instead he plays D5 to dominate the center. And now the position assumes uh, the characteristics of a modern Benoni except uh, bishop on b4. <clears throat> or you might say a snake Benoni. Black having several extra tempi. So why a6? Black plans to start creating counterplay with b7, b5. Which so tries to clamp down on. He may have also I think that's a, that looks like a bit of a mistake. Knight g3 looks uh, more realistic. Then if ed, cd, just let him have the, the expansion and proceed with development. But uh, he played instead a4, kind of wasting time. And Aronian plays bishop a5. That's... Well, it prevents a4, a5 in some cases, and uh, protects the b6 square and gets ready for the complications to come. Bishop d2. And now knight h5, very bold move. Of course, you know, white plays g4 now. Here comes queen h4 check. What's the purpose behind knight h5? Black would love to play f7, f5. And now if white plays, let's say, knight, well, knight g3 is at well answered by queen h4, and knight f5 is answered very effectively by takes, and bishop takes f5. So here, so decides to get his king side in gear with g3, knight d7, and now very dynamic play coming from Aronian. With b7, b5, it's a pawn offer. If takes, takes, knight takes, black plays bishop takes, forcing king takes. And now queen b6, and there's no question about it. White, black has excellent counterplay here in return for the lost pawn. If knight e to c3, for instance, black can play bishop a6, hitting the knight and also preparing c5, c4. The queen may swoop down to f2. Looks very unpleasant for white. Instead, he played now b5, b4. The impending b5, b4 is quite a quite unpleasant for white to deal with. Trick the sticky, let's say. And, and so he tries to eject that knight on h5 at the cost of losing the right to castle, as it turns out. A very risky decision here coming up from by so. Perhaps his best choice is simply to play A, B, A, B, castles. And it looks like a better course of events than what happens. After the radical G4, he loses the right to castle, and um, well, his king comes under a very heavy attack. Nice answer by Aronian. And here, I think, definitely so should have taken on h5, leading to b, c, b, c, queen h4 check, knight g3, f5 for black, and then castles, and play looks to be roughly equal. It would be a fair assessment, maybe slightly better.